Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. I'm excited to have devotions with you again today. I want to read a couple verses as we continue our series in Matthew chapter 5. Look at verse number 13. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Jesus is talking here and giving us a section here that's pretty well known to most of us as believers, but there's a lot here. And the thing that we have to remember and the question we have to ask ourselves is, who is Jesus talking to? To whom is Jesus speaking? He's talking to the crowd. He's talking to the multitude that has come around him. Just ordinary, unremarkable, regular, everyday people. He's not talking to the powerful Romans who are ruling the world or the wise Athenians or even the Jewish religious scholars. But still, talking to regular, ordinary, everyday people, Jesus said, you are the salt of the world. You are the light of the world. He didn't tell them that you're the salt and the light of Galilee here, your local area, because most of these people never traveled more than a couple miles from where they were born. But Jesus didn't tell them you're the salt and the light here of your local community. He said, you're the salt and the light of the world. I mean, forget about the, the, the Caesars and the Herods and the Platos. I mean, forget about those guys. The world doesn't need more YouTube sensations or celebrities or anything like that. Jesus said, regular people with an extraordinary God will shape the world. That's powerful because you and I are just regular, ordinary people. Nothing special about us. And I thank God that he still uses regular, ordinary people. And he's not looking for the ultra-talented, ultra-smart, and that because I'd be out of luck, and so would you probably. But Jesus said it's just the regular, ordinary people who are going to change the earth. We provide the essential ingredients for this earth. A first century Christian said nothing is more useful in the world than salt and sunshine. And there's so much truth to that. Being salt and light doesn't require extraordinary acts. It requires a daily walk with God. And our world that we live in, this dark, sin-filled world, needs more salt and more light every day. So let's be that salt and light in our world. Until tomorrow, get in God's Word, read it for yourself. God bless you and have a great day.